Hello. My beautiful wife and I took my daughter Rainbow to ice skating practice. We sat there on those hard aluminum style benches freezing with a few other parents as our amazingly skilled kids each enjoyed their skating and tried to make themselves a little bit better. You know, it didn't take very long to notice the difference in how boys and girls approach the whole concept of skating. The girls were enjoying this huge oval of ice as they went counterclockwise, being careful to enjoy every little nuance of the skating and making sure that everyone had their space. Some of the girls would hold hands with each other, pretending that they were professional skaters working as a group. <laughs> of course, Rainbow, my daughter, was the cutest girl of all. Now, the boys took a very different approach to skating. They skated in every direction, yelling at each other, running into each other, uh, tackling each other, and generally scaring their parents half to death. At one point, several of the boys took off their gloves and started using them as projectiles against each other. <laughs> My wife and I just stood there in amazement as the girls skated so delicately and the boys looked like they were waiting for police intervention. While the girls and boys took radically different approaches to skating, there was one thing they shared in common, and that's encouragement. Moms and dads, mostly moms, sat there on the sidelines just like us, praising every single accomplishment their child made. Each time that the child did anything they thought was praiseworthy, they would look up to the stands for an applauding look or smile from mom and dad. It reminds me of Proverbs chapter 25, or sorry, chapter 12, verse 25, which says, Anxiety in a person's heart weighs it down, but a good word, well, that makes a heart glad. The kids were all having a great time, and they were all trying to become better skaters, and they were all looking for the encouragement and the approval of mom and dad. Life is full of people who are ready to weigh you down with anxiety. Life is full of people who are always looking for an opportunity to be negative. But it doesn't have to be that way. It can change with you. I want to challenge you to be the person who encourages others. The person who's always ready with a good word, with a great job. Are you ready to be the person that God created you to be? To be the person that God put you on this earth to be? If so, start today and start encouraging people around you. I'm Stephen Zamanik, and I'll see you next time.